and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I tune my brace height on my bow for optimal performance. What is brace height? Brace height is the distance from the inset of your handle to the string. Your brace height affects your noise, your vibration, and even has a minute effect on the draw weight of your bow. If you have a new string, it's important that you break it in. I usually go with 100 shots on a new string before I start tuning the brace height. To begin, we need to know the manufacturer's specification of our bow. Every bow is different, so you'll have to check online or contact your manufacturer or craftsman to get your tolerance for your brace height on your bow. In my case, my bow is listed online. I am using a Hoyt Buffalo, so I go to the Hoyt website. I find my bow, I scroll down, and there it is. The tolerance for my brace height is between 7 and 8 inches. Next, I want to take all the extras off my string. My beaver balls need to go. I want to get my string down to the basics. That way, anything I add to the string will only enhance the tuning. Now that I have my string down to the basics, string, string serving, and knock, I'm going to go ahead and unwind or wind my string to the minimum specification stated on the website. In my case, that's 7 inches. Alright, I've got my brace height set at 7 inches, which is the lowest tolerance for a Hoyt Buffalo, according to the website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shoot a couple arrows, and while doing so, I'm going to listen for the noise, and I'm going to feel for the vibration in the bow. Alright, I added two twists to the string, two full twists, two full rotations, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot it again, once again, listening to the noise and feeling the vibration. Alright, it's exhausting pulling that string on and off to add twists, so pace yourself. This time, the uh, noise reduction was not even noticeable, so I went ahead and added four twists this time. And as I start noticing uh, less noise and less vibration, then I'll once again go back and start doing two twists at a time. I'd like to point out that I am doing this indoors, that way it takes away all of the outside distractions as far as noise goes. I'd also like to point out that every time I put a twist in the string, I'm going back and making sure that I did not exceed the manufacturer's specification for the maximum brace height. And uh, right now I just got it at 7.5 inch brace height and the noise started going down, so I'm going to go ahead and back off to two rotations every time. Alright, right now I am at 7 and 3 4 inches brace height. It's really starting to tune up. The noise is really being reduced. But because it's also 7 and 3 4 it's almost 8 inches, I'm going to be very careful that I don't exceed the maximum uh, tolerance for the brace height. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple more twists. And um, as soon as the noise starts to increase, I'm going to back it off a couple twists. Alright, I'm at 7 and 7 8 and the noise started getting a little louder. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back the string off one full twist and call it a day. Alright, I backed the string up one turn and I am now at uh, 7 and 13 sixteenths. I'm going to go ahead and document this and I'm going to keep it with my bow so that I always know what is the, the brace height for, the optimal brace height. The next step is going to be tuning the knock point, but we're going to do that in another video. Alright, this is once again optimal brace height with no beaver balls. <laughs>